beloved friends and members of Wesley Freedom. Under the one monarchy of the Father, we pledge our allegiance only to the kingdom of heaven. But as God has created all things, great and small, and wills that all things are done decently and in good order, human authorities have been instituted by God to restrict evil and to promote the good. As ambassadors of the kingdom of God in this area, we believe it is our duty and privilege to offer a sacrifice of prayer to God on behalf of all those who undertake the solemn duty of government. So will you join us, the pastors and staff of Wesley Freedom, as we petition God our King on behalf of those elected by the people of this land to hold offices of authority. Let us pray for our nation, particularly those who have been elected to lead our government in this season. Sovereign Lord, you are the King Eternal. From everlasting to everlasting, you alone are God. All thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, nations, rulers, and all people will one day kneel before you and confess that your reign is just and true, and that your kingdom will last forever. In your providence, you have ordained that for the sake of order and justice, certain human beings would be entrusted with authority over your people on earth. On the occasion of a new ruler ascending to preside over this nation, accept our prayers and bless all who have been entrusted with worldly powers. May they know your wisdom to lead well. May they enact and enforce laws according to your justice. May they be kept uncorrupted by greed and lust for power. Keep them slow to anger and abounding in love for the persons over whom they have been given charge. Lord, strengthen them in all virtue, that their character be above reproach and their moral example a shining light. Make your way clear before their faces and remove any obstacles that would prevent them from leading our community, state, and nation into the future you have willed. Especially into your care we lift Ed, Eric, Stephen, Richard, and Dennis, our county commissioners, May they govern with justice, mercy, and wisdom. Susan, April, Haven, Trent, and Reed are delegates to the State Assembly. May they govern with justice, mercy, and wisdom. Katie and Justin are State Senators. May they govern with justice, mercy, and wisdom. Jamie, our congressman in the House of Representatives. May he govern with, with justice, justice, mercy, and wisdom. Benjamin and Christopher, our senators in the Senate of the United States. May they govern with justice, mercy, and wisdom. Boyd, our lieutenant governor. May he govern with justice, mercy, and wisdom. Lawrence, our governor. May, May he govern, govern with, with justice, justice, mercy, and wisdom. John, Clarence, Stephen, Samuel, Sonia, Elena, Neil, Brett, and Amy are Supreme Court justices. May, May they, they govern, govern with justice, justice mercy, and, and wisdom. Kamala, our vice president. May, May she govern, govern with justice, justice mercy, and wisdom. Joseph, our president. May, May he govern with justice, mercy, and wisdom. Bless and keep all of these in good health, sound mind, and upright moral character. May they keep the public trust, enhance the welfare of all people, and remain always in fear of you. God, as we live into a transition of power and begin a new administration, we ask for your peace and your wisdom to reign over and guide every resident of our nation. We ask, Lord, for the strength to love in every heart 
and the discipline to exercise freedom without violence in every mind, that we may live into this new day as a nation seeking to be united and humble before you. In the name of Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you.